All right. Is it, is it recording? Yes. Okay. Hello, my name is Samantha Moore. I'm a digital artist and some of my inspirations are oh, Tomoyuki Yamasaki, otherwise known by his screen name, Red Juice. He has a distinct art style, although in, uh, oh wait, he's a Japanese character designer and illustrator. And he has a distinct art style, also, although taking inspiration from anime, he uses semi, uh, he uses a semi-realistic realistic, uh, proportions and details in order to give, make it his own. My favorite thing uh, about his art is the level of detail he uses in his work, from the small sequins in her vest to the to the uh, small uh, ribbon designs on on her. It really makes the characters come alive. Another one of my inspirations is Leonid Afremov. He's a Russian-Israeli oil painter who uses a broad color palette tied to through repetition without, throughout his work. He um, uses art to express his emotions. And I relate to that as well because the work I create is very personal to me too. That's a big reason why I've gotten into zines. <laughs> Zines, if you do not know, are small self-circulated published works with a do-it-yourself feel to them, and they tend to be very uh, personal to the creator, and they can vary wildly in subjects. One of my uh, first zines is, and one of the first zines I made is, the glaciers are gone and it's all our fault, which is a zine that brings attention to the global, to global warming and its repercussions on the world. I used a digital oil painting brushes to get a apparently exaggerated effect in this piece. And I was inspired by full spread children's books where each page comes across to uh, create a whole painting. I wanted to create beautiful yet devastating imagery, purposely reusing bright warm colors and muddied blues in order to create contrast and create a, uh, a thing that shows the bleak danger our world may be in if we continue down the path that we are currently on. Moving on, I'd like to take a moment to explain the production process of my zines. After coming up with the initial idea and sketch for the pages, I'll cut them up and process the pages so that they'll be in the right order when I fold and staple them. As an example, here's the layout of my uh, of glaciers. They, uh, Although it looks a little strange right now with page one and page 10 put together, when they're, when they're printed out, it'll make more sense as you fold them together. Once the pages are printed out, I sort the pages and put them in the correct order before neatly folding them and stapling them in the middle. Moving on to a much more lighthearted zine, I made one about, mount, about moths, humanoid moths. I named this one a zine Lepidopterians, a mix between our Latin name and theirs. So each page has a moth character on the left, and the right has actual species, uh, actual species information that they're based on. <laughs> For the most part, I used actual colors that the moths are. However, complementary colors were thrown in to add variety, such as the pinks and the luna moths. Another great example of this is the green silver lines moth, as it doesn't have a whole lot of colors, the actual moth, because it, it needs to camouflage, obviously. However, with a character like this, I felt like the greens blended in a lot, so I threw in some reds to uh, help contrast. Another zine I worked on was the SAU Survival Guide. Back in 2019, a group of students, along with the Zeusman, made a zine to help teach freshmen things that they may not know about our school. And I was in charge of the on-campus dining section. While easily, it could have been a boring section with just a lot of food facts and no real images. I decided to take the mascot of Molly Ann, our mule, <laughs> and uh, use her to help guide us through the, uh, the section with, and create a lighthearted and funny read for students to both uh, have fun and also be informative. Moving on from zines, illustration. I have also have a lot of illustration pieces. This, this image, uh, Breakfast at the Tailors, is a slice of life piece that shows my uh, an everyday life of a few of my characters. I used watercolor brushes in this piece with, with a neutral tone background to help make them stand out more. Each character has their own color, an analogous color scheme, 
in order to show that they're kind of and that they're related to each other. And I made I made the most of the space in this piece by using uh, Lyra, the main the girl in the green, her spatula as a way to kind of guide around the piece from the little boy to her mom. This was also in the 2020 juried art show here in Magnolia. Likewise was this piece. I'm a big fan of sci-fi uh, movies, one of my favorite being Guardians of the Galaxy. And it just so happens that Chris Pratt is also the creator and is also the, um, the lead in Jurassic World. So I created a caricature of him with Blue, the raptor. This style was a little different than what I'm normally used to, using a uh, experiment. And I had a lot of fun experimenting with the spacing, stretching out features and creating a fun caricature of him. In, a, in such an exaggerated way. Blue's meant to help draw you in and lead your eyes around the piece from uh, her face to her tail as, as it wraps around him dynamically. This piece, Government Spies, is a satirical propaganda poster based on the joke, uh, the joke uh, online campaign, uh, Birds Aren't Real, which basically says all birds are actually government drones. The blocky style of children's books and simple cute bird design is, that's what I use for this. Although I did give, I tried to make him have more realistic creepy eyes because he's supposed to, uh, when you look at him, you want him to uh, creepily follow <laughs> your eyes as part of the, uh, the message of the piece. The biggest project I've worked on hands down is Bomb Voyage our senior project. For those that don't know about boy, boy, uh, Bomb Voyage, it's an arcade style 3D game in which you play as Flo, the robot here, who strives to deliver boxes to their, uh, their destination on the production line while trying to avoid dangerous obstacles along the way. This artwork, this artwork is what I created to appear on the Steam page. Bomb Voyage was colorful and exciting and I tried to emulate that in these pieces using using sleek shading, bright colors, and a simple rounded art style. Overall, Flo is a fun character to draw, her flexible arms leading to creating all sorts of dynamic poses. And I really wanted to see an inner, uh, create an energetic and uh, full of life character, despite being a robot. <laughs> another thing about, and another thing I created for Bomb Voyage is that there are these bomb boxes. They were the original item that Flo would pick up before she, they changed to actual bombs. Inspired by Amazon boxes and other boxes you might get in the mail, I further stylized them to reflect the colorful and whimsical uh, art style we were wanting to emulate. And these renders are to help show them off. Another thing I created in three. Are we still on here? The speaker has frozen. Yeah, it looks like we lost her. It's the perfect way to get out of the presentation. On a high note, the, the latest, uh, latest thing I've done is create a toy in ZBrush. While the other models I've made are in Maya, uh, I, this is actually my first time using ZBrush. It's a 2D, uh, 2.5D modeling software, and the process of creating models works a lot like using clay in real life. It's primarily for modeling more organic characters, and that's what I use to create this piece. Um, an interesting bit about this piece is that um, the arms are actually separate right here. Uh, you put them together by popping in a ball joint. And as you can see here, I actually created, uh, with the use of our 3D printer here at SAU, I was able to actually print off my figure. And after cleaning it up from the scaffolding here, I was able to paint it and create a functioning toy. This is currently actually in the... Um, 
in our in our senior show um if you actually want to go and see it and play with it you can you can actually move the models joints and stuff thank you for listening feel free to contact me at the places below are there any questions <laughs>